It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back, ladies and gents, as I play my campaign as the Spanish Empire. Okay, so we've carved up a little bit more of North Africa. We've gained all the provinces that matter, all the ones on the coast. We need to call them, so that's going to take a little while. Oh, Timbuktu has left the military coalition. So the coalition's burning down now, I think. Um, the plan would be... We've been doing this for a long time. It's three episodes ago. We were planning to annex uh, Portugal. Oh, we don't have cores on them again. Damn. We built a spy network with France that's maxed out. So we can now... France is the first one to circumnavigate circum navigation of the world. Wow. Nice. Well played, dude. Those are nice beams. Are we gain money or are we gain some admin? We don't need the money right now. We're filthy rich. We are filthy rich. Okay, so we can sow discontent. Or we can sabotage recruitment. I think I want to sabotage recruitment. They both cost 80. Slander merchants also cost 70. And they lose global trade power. <clears throat> that won't hurt them as much as their reduction in manpower, though. I love that one. That one's so good. It really hurts when you get that one, but I think the truth is I really like to take it, though. Um, okay, so let's grab some land. I think we'll grab that one. Yep, okay. It'd be really nice if we could build up our spy network quicker. Spy detection minus 24.7%, rival 25%, and distance modifier. Okay. And the core, uh, we can make that a state. We don't want to make those a state. I don't really understand the point of making those one state. They're just one island, aren't they? Or is it a few on the coast as well? I think it's the coast ones as well, isn't it? Oh, Madagascar now is not all colonies. You can actually conquer it. Okay. Can't grab that one. I forgot a colonist. Yeah, I do. Can we grab the Sandwich Islands? Falklands? No. No, I'm not interested in grabbing anything on the mainland. I'm not interested in that. About those things, it looks like Great Britain's going to become the biggest colonial power because they're really, they're pretty much the only ones colonizing. Because France joins the colonial game pretty late, and Portugal and Spain are pretty much out of it. I've decided I don't want to colonize for this campaign. I don't think it, I don't really want to do it. I want to, I want to focus on being a, I don't know. I want to focus on being like a, a conqueror, the hawk over the dove, over the colonist. Like that. Yeah. So when, when those cores are done in North Africa, I'm gonna make those states. Because I think I'm near my state limit anyway. Yeah, I think I am. The burgers aren't happy. Losing a bit of trade efficiency, but I can live with that. Okay, go for speed. There are a few boats here that I missed. So these guys can merge with these guys. Oh, we actually can upgrade them. We should probably do that. Where's the one with the shipyard? Here, you guys. We'll, we'll bring them all here because they're all a little bit damaged. We can repair them all. One percent. How is our ship size right now? We're almost near the limit. We can make our army a lot bigger too. Okay, this good point might be a good idea to ask for some admin from the clergy. Nope, can't do it. Can't do that until 1629. So another four years. Okay, let's protect trade and see where we can get our biggest buffs. So... That one's going to be the best one, Safi. Sicilian Separatists. Okay, let's bring our army down here then. Um, this guy. Nah, we'll go for the best guy. There's no point. He's got five shark. He's a god. He's a living god. Hang on, what? We can't bring our arm. Oh, they have 50, 58 there. What's the development on this? 20. Okay, we're coring. That's good. Uh, unrest is a bit of a problem. Who's the other one? Moroccan Separatists. That is a slight concern. Um, I bet there's somewhere here too. No, we only need one army. We'll bring the other army here. And then we'll put them on uh, suppressed duty. Whoa! Oh, wow, we couldn't even get there in time. Uh, conversion, conversion, and rebels. Okay. Ah, oh, damn. We're getting 10 years of separation. Yep, rebel suppression. 
Occupied. And we're not going to convert yet. We want to see which ones need cores first. We'll go for the cheapest ones first. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. I think one's already cored anyway. No, it's not. Oh, it's this one. But that one isn't cored, is it? No, it's not. Okay, it doesn't matter anyway, because I'm still going to take a little while before I core them all anyhow. Um, these rebels suppress. That's good. This is our army. Can we upgrade something? 55 ships and get an upgrade. What are we upgrading? Oh, it's the galleys. Okay. Yet again, guys, I've never actually bought a single galley in this game. These are all the ones I've captured. People say has left the military coalition against us. Perfect. Our next goal will be to push further into Italy as well. We still need to deal with the almighty uh, France, though. Ooh, I'm not looking forward to that. Fabricate claim on the Algarve. Uh, gain diplomatic insult. Cast his belly on France. Or boost relations. I'm not doing that. Fabricate claims on here. So what we conveniently would be nice to do is we'll put them as a special interest. Oh, we already have put them as a special interest. Okay, never mind. Okay. They're not at war with anyone. They are. Oh, God, they're allied with Poland now. Shit. They are allied with the Papal State. Who else is the Papal State allied with? Siena. So we'll take on the two African... African. Italian, not, not Italian nations. Uh, grand military guy has died. We'll go for the discipline guy. Um, go for some military. Yeah, we're ahead on military so we can get the next idea. National conscriptions. National conscripts. So this recruitment time, 10%, does that improve how quickly I can reinforce? I don't think it does, does it? No, never mind. Oh my god, Morocco. Pretenders. Extension, only one more to get now. It's the one I'm currently converting. Ooh, oh, I can't get there in time. Go for the the shot guy. I love how the, the the leaders in this game can just teleport around the world. They're gonna get wrecked. Is that the one we were? Oh yeah, it is the one we we're converting. Convert him to Protestantism. Uh, convert this one. And this one. Tunis. Oh shit. Ugh! Getting spammed. Oh my god, the Spamarinos. Military leader has left us. It wasn't our best guy, was it? No, it wasn't. Uh, separatists have got their way. Ouch, that was a big stack. We just struggled to win that. I'm trying to keep the speed, game speed going because I don't want to pause anymore. I feel like I'm pausing too much. I'm getting pause greedy. Where are you going, dude? Stay there. Tunisia, rebel. Cause, cause. We got what's our mission as well? We've not checked on that in a while. Improve relations with Sienna. Well, that's an easy one we can do. Actually, can we do that one? I don't think we can, because it needs more of a hundred relations, doesn't it? No, we'll not do that. We'll get a different one. Our general has died. It's not our best general. No, our best guy's still alive. The five shot guy. Uh. France has influenced French Brazil. They influence their own subject. Why would you want to do that? France has paid. Like, I feel like a really bad person, guys. If we declare war on France, we're actually eliminating the most charitable nation on the planet. All they seem to do is pay people's debts. That's all they do. Okay, can we maybe. No. Oh, they're counter espionage. Interesting. Interesting. That would explain a few times where we have issues, isn't it? Impose a new tariff. Oh my god. For mercantilism. And we're behind on burger loyalty as well, so that's perfect. Oh, that is so good. Can we give some land to the burgers? They'll accept a lot of this land, won't they?
Okay, convert, convert, that's good. Convert, convert. Convert some amazing speed as well, don't we? That's one of the big bonuses of Spain, isn't it? The fact they get really quick conversion speeds. Two of a kind. Uh, the consort friends becomes advisor of the court is a commander. Ooh. Yes, because we need a commander too. Oh, it's a commandant, shall I tell a lie? Hey, half price. It was exactly the same guy we were hiring though. Our heir has died. Rip. Oh, lose the stability. Rip. Lewis, 261. He's okay. It appears that our leader... Oh, it's, it's okay. That's a bad trait, but it's okay. We don't have any subjects anyway. I don't, I don't think we do anyway. Ooh, money. Oh, we pissed off the burgers again. Is there any way we can make them happy now? Yeah, grant monopoly charters. Core, core. Good, 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 good. France, can we make a claim again? What claims have we got? So we can get Toulouse. So if we can go to war and grab all these four southern provinces, that would be really nice. France has paid the debts of Carib. Which is an Inuit tribe in South America. Okay. We can get the extra Diplo as well. Uh, we could probably go for some extra Mercantile, and that's probably a good idea. Oh, no, no, no. Next idea, extra Fire plus one. Oh, our Generals are going to be gods now. Oh my god, we're so rich. At this stage, it might be a good idea to have all our forts up. Let's just see what difference that makes. Uh, oh, that's cool. Reduce the tech cost, wow. And we're so rich that it doesn't even matter. So what we do now, this is something I recently discovered. So there is an advantage to keeping all your forts maintained. You get a boost in land attrition. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, we're maxed out. France has paid the debts, yeah. Uh, again, for the same country? Savoy has left the military coalition. Has the coalition already ended? Let's have a look. Is there anyone still in the coalition? It doesn't look like it. It's usually that with like a line in the middle, isn't it? So the coalition's ended. Let's pause because we've got some Diplo points. Let's invest in mercantilism. If we've got some extra points, there's no point not doing it, is there? I either get extra production or some mercantilism. We'll go for three. What difference is this going to make in the overall cost of what we're getting? From 35 to 98. <sighs> Now I think about it, that's actually not that great. Okay, so who have we got as a rival to? I've not checked on that in a while. Ottomans and France. Let's see what difference that makes to trade as well. Border friction. I don't care if I upset Portugal. 37, so that went up a little bit as well. That reduces their trade power they've got in their provinces. Ah, oh, shit, we've only got one core now. Oh, no, we've got two. Okay, so that is actually a little bit more... Oh, they're not allied with anyone. Oh, shit, we, ha we have to take this opportunity now. This is the perfect opportunity, and we have to take it. I'm sorry, Portugal, bro, but... We're going to have to take away your military access as well. I'm sorry, bro. I don't know where their army is, but it doesn't even matter. Game 1 stability. Oh, extra army tradition. Oh, damn. I always like to go at 3 stability. 3 stability just gives loads of extra bonuses. I love it, so I'm going to go for that. Um, that's our fleet. Um, I think we'll keep those at home. How big is the Portuguese fleet? They'll be somewhere near the top, won't they? Nope. They're nowhere. I can't even find them. P P P P P P P P P P. Twenty five light ships. Twenty nine. Yep, they're not even a threat. I think our trade fleet would be okay just keeping it keeping at sea. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. And I don't think we even need to activate our fleet either. We do have a general. Oh, he's really good. All right, what we'll do then? Give that to him. Um, yeah, that's a perfect. So that means we're gonna. 
I think what works is if you get an extra maneuver, it adds extra trade protection ability as well. So it boosts their trade power conversion, which is good. Oh, I did the wrong buttons. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Make sure they're all states. Not going to bother with those ones. We do have some missions now. So destroy the Turkish dominance. 15 trade efficiency bonus for 10 years. Rival of our rival, Poland. That actually might be a good idea because our relations right now are on a bit of a low. So we probably should do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Are we actually allied with them? Are we already allied with them? No, we're not, but we can. This is going to be easy because we can just... Offer an alliance, give a royal marriage, and that might be enough to push me over a hundred. No, we still need a little bit more. And we'll boost relations as well. Yeah, perfect. Are they allied when they want? No. Everyone's abandoned Portugal. I think they've become so weak that no one believes in them. Rip. Oh, they're a defender of the face, so we're going to suck in France. <laughs> it's never that easy, is it? It's never that easy. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, we should spend our money. I can feel the, I can feel the, the YouTube comments, people telling me, Dave, why are you not spending your money? Why are you not spending your money, Dave? I know, I'm sorry. Um, barracks. Our manpower is pretty damn good right now. You know what I've just thought about? I just feel like I've forgotten about this. Is We said we were going to convert territory, didn't we? I just totally forgot to do it. This is going to cost seven. Alright guys, we said we were going to do this and uh, now is the time. We don't need to convert the ones that... Oh, we might, we, at some stage, I don't know. Maybe we've got lots of Diplo points. We might convert at some point. I don't think we're going to do it anytime soon, though. Uh, the Knights, done. Yeah, so it's got to the stage now that we could get... We've got the two reductions, haven't we, because of the ideas. Oh, we've not, actually. Oh, shit. We, should, we don't have religious ideas. Okay. <laughs> I guess we've done it a little bit early, then. Never mind. Okay. All right, I, I thought there was a reason why we were holding back, but I guess that makes sense now. Uh, no, no, no. No, we don't need to bother with that. And let's have a look at the states. Where's the states map? So, okay, so if we had here, we'd be able to control all this as a state. Interesting. The question is, though, this piece of land, though, is that really considered a state, that one island on its own? That feels not worthy. Mm. Okay, ah, oh, this is a good one. We could go on colonial map as well. I, I failed to check this one. Oh, we can actually grab this now. Yay. Hey. Someone in my Twitch chat is asking me who has won the colonial race. Uh, right now, it's predominantly England. Portugal's got quite a lot of holdings in West Africa. Got that one there. Oh, actually, that's not Portugal. That's a, that's a native, that, isn't it? Uh, got French Brazil. English Argentina. English Colombia and Venezuela, English Caribbean. That's pretty much it. No one has touched North America. No one. Yeah, there's no Western influence in North North America, and it's 1631 as well. That's really weird, isn't it? So what I've done is I've thrown off the balance of colonialism. So I've thrown out Portugal, and because I'm not colonizing Spain, that's like two of the major colonial powers that are just not investing in coloni colonialism. Colonialism. So yeah, I mean, a lot of people could be asking me like, why are you not playing historical day? But I, and I can't be bothered. I want to play it a bit different. I think playing historical can be sometimes be fun, but I've done it too many times. So I just want to play something a bit, a bit different. Just a little bit different. Okay, so I think it's time to go to war with France, right? Is there any other reason why we wouldn't? Um... Where's our third army? This one's a really big one, isn't it? 
We were going to push further into West Africa as well, weren't we? I think we'll probably do that next. But I think now we've got to go to war with France. We've been putting it off for a long time and we need to do it. Yeah, let's build up our army. Let's get prepared for war. We're filthy rich as well. Oh, we're incredibly rich. We're technologically super advanced. We're ahead on everything. They're on the same one. So we're never going to have a tech advantage, that's for sure. Yeah, we're never going to have the tech advantage. Um, okay. So maybe it might be... Okay, I, I, I've just had a second idea. So what we should do is we should declare war on the Papal States. And we can knock out North Africa. Oh, God, I keep saying North Africa. North Italy. And then we declare war on Portugal next. Yeah, I think that's going to be ideal. I think we'll stop building here because they've got their counter espionage in us. Um, are they in max relations yet? No, only 33. Do we need to boost the relations anymore? No, we don't really. No. Do, 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 do. I guess what we could do as well is we could colonize here, couldn't we? Just to get this state here. And then it might help us push further into West Africa and maybe push into the Congo as well. We could grab... We could grab here as well because this is a really good trade node as well, isn't it? Ooh, so many options. So many options. So it is starting to look like that late game England is going to be super strong. They're only fifth right now, but I think late game they're going to be uber, uber strong. Because they're the colonial gods right now. Yeah, they're going to be super uber. Oh, we've got good relations with England. Fuck. Oh, we can't say no to this. We have to take advantage of that. If anyone's wondering, Burgundy still exists, by the way. The, uh... The last King of Burgundy event has not fired. I think it, it's less likely to fire, isn't it, later in the game? So, it might not even ever fire. Throw war with the Netherlands. The Netherlands has not had a very good life. They were born and then they died. That's pretty much the end of the story. Rip. Protect our brethren in Tadmecca. Is it because we've adopted a... We have. We've adopted this culture, haven't we? Colonize South Georgia. That's that little island the bomb we were going to go for, wasn't it? South Georgia. Yeah, we were going to go for that one, weren't we? Yeah, let's do that. I'm just double checking there's any new states to be made. You think if you think about it, in the meantime, we might as well just add this state in. God, we've got lots of extra states. I think we might subtract these states then if we don't need them later. I'm not really sure the ideal strategy with that. We'll see later in the game. Anyway, clergy want some land. We can have some land in North Africa. You think about it, now the biggest, the strongest, the other strongest nation is the Ottomans. And if we start bordering them in, in, in Africa, that could cause issues. It might actually be beneficial because we could gain some land, couldn't we? Because these are good areas to fight on. I feel like when the AI is less less chance of maneuvering around, they, I don't know, they have less of a advantage over you. Know, let's have a look at the alliances here. Hmm. I've created a weird situation here with Ally and Brandenburg and Bohemia, haven't I? Because if you think about it, that's going to cause issue late game, isn't it? Hmm. Are they counter espionages? Yeah, they're counter espionages. That's nasty. I don't need the fleet now. We can disable that. We've got no rebels. Wow, it's been a long time since we've seen that. Prestige from land battles. Okay. Two of a kind. A cheaper commandant. We've already got one, haven't we? I bet if I say notice, I'm going to regret it because he's going to die tomorrow. Actually, no, we've got an expensive one. Oh, we've got a half price one. Nice. He's a year older, though. Ooh. Ooh. 
I'm actually quite happy. Dawson is a really good king, so he's got three, six, four. Apart from that one, but that's not even that great, that, that bad. It's some of the negative traits are actually not that bad. Embezzler. Ooh. And that air's not too bad either. Two six one. He's just a eh, I guess he's a little bit weaker than a current air. Change colour, culture, lost the claim on here. If anyone's wondering, I'm actually naming my kings after my Twitch chat users that are watching right now. Uh, Bohemi, your faithful ally, is requesting they come to the aid in the Bohemian conquest of... Do you know what? Do I really want to be involved in this? No, I don't care. Damn, the Portuguese aren't happy being uh, suppressed. Uh, do we get involved in this war? I really don't care. They're all 60%. Is that, is that the lowest they'll go now? Is there some kind of tech that's keeping it higher for a lot mothballing? Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yeah, 6. Just costing money. That usually would cost um, production, diplomacy, or points, so it's cheaper. That's good. That's good. Alright, let's bring our army over. 97%. Yeah, let's bring it over. And we'll... That's the only this one so there's two ports so ah we might as well we'll be we're involved in the war what's really good about using your navy in a war that you're not use you're not taking advantage of land forces is you'll get favors still just for bringing your troops over which is nice oh Our admirals died <laughs> oh come on i think that was the only no i think we used him in that war against the ottomans didn't we okay so he had a use oh okay is this war already over What cause have they got? I'm kind of curious if Bohemia's going to... Bur uh, Burgundy's going to try and expand again, but... I think... They're almost beaten. How does Austria feel about us? Austria's okay with us now. Since we've lost all that aggressive expansion, everyone's really cool with us. Everyone's alright. We'll be our buddy, bro. We'll be, be our buddy, bro. Siege of Roma. Am I not paying attention here, boys? How quickly are we going to rip this army in half? Oh my god, they're going to run away. I know they are. Oh, maybe we won't even have to fight them. Yeah, we did. Okay. Fair enough. Well, we contributed anyway. There's no... There's no attrition here. What? Wow. Okay. Okay, we're getting to a stage now where we can upgrade our tech again. So, who are we allied with here? This is a war with Bohemia. Okay. Ooh, reform. There's like a reformed wedge that's occurred in the middle. Just to know everyone, so... Reform has started to spread into Scandinavia. And England is still Catholic. I think that might be somehow the balance of the game works. If, like, another major power, instead of England going Protestant... Um, it causes, like... Like another nation to go to keep Catholic. I think that's how it works. It might be how the center of trade spread their land. I'm not sure. We'll see. Religious ideas. Missionaries. Missionary strength. Tolerance of the true faith. We only really wanted to go for this for the conversion, didn't we? That was the only real advantage. Uh, lose some prestige. Danzig. 100 legitimacy, 73 prestige, 45 projection. We're doing pretty good. My emperor, the, the rumor spread that Milan is preparing to attack Siena. Ooh. Fabricate claims on Siena. Fabricate claims on... They've got these provinces as well. What's this one? This is their capital, isn't it? Urbino. Yeah, okay. If we could grab three three states in the north, that would be decent. What's the...
I want to make this uh, Italian army really, really strong. So I want to, I want the, I want the French to be able to, I don't know, I want to put a lot of resistance in, in Africa when I fight the French later. That's a really big army. France has declared war on Port something or other. All right, this France. Okay, so France is trying to colonize Brazil now. Well, they've already colonized Brazil. Lisbon rebels. Pause. We need that god general. Can we get there in time? Yeah, got him. Our theologian has died. Can we get another admin guy? A cheap one. This will be a master of the mint. Yes. Master of the mint. This guy. Have we got any? No, we've not got any inflation, so it doesn't matter. Maybe when we declare war on Italy, maybe we can bring in one of our allies, maybe. I don't know. Is Poland in a union with Lithuania? Yes. Wow, that's going to be a really strong commonwealth. From the Baltic Sea all the way to the uh, Black Sea. BB. Um, okay, we can convert some more land, I suppose. Oh, no, no, no. We can get tech. We can tech up now. Highlanders. I like the extra shock and fire. Uh, now we'll go for those guys. Gollop and leather cannon. Nice. Good. I think the battle's in our favor. Yeah, it's the Bohemians pushing into the Holy Roman Empire. Self descending colony in the Falcon Islands. I'm going for the Sandwich Islands now. South Georgian and Sandwich Islands. I think the Sandwich Islands are some smaller ones that here you can't see. This is Arctic though, so this is going to take a while to spread here. Minus 10 local setter increase. Ouch. Hey, They won. I think they won. God damn, the casualties! I don't know about you, but the casualties feel a little bit high for the era that we're in. Does anyone else feel the same way? Oh, we gained one favor! <laughs> That's not even enough to... Declare war. Oh well. Oh well. That was a really cool war. Uh, make core on the sandwich. Uh, Falklands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to ask to make this a core, are they? Oh, it is a state. So, are all these like... Oh, right. Oh! So, it's kind of... This one, this one, this one, and all of this. Are they all a state? State of the South Atlantic Islands. They are. And that's Cameroon, the Gulf of Guinea. Okay, so that... Okay, now just think about it. Oh, right, so... Alright, okay. I'm starting to understand this now because it makes sense. Ooh, what's this? Noble rebels. Oh dear, Portugal, what have you done? What have you done? Okay, production improvements, extra production efficiency. Nice. I guess we can go for the extra religious ideas because we're ahead on tech by a large degree. Yeah, yeah. Holy War against... All the heretics, I get it. Uh, cleansing of heresy, there will be blood. Ooh, what's this? Aztecs are going to be declaring war. Okay, why do I need to know this? No one's tried to uh, go into Mexico either. No one has tried yet. Got him. All right, Sienna, who are you allied with? You are allied with Lorraine and the Papal State. Now I'm starting to think to myself, you know, it might be better just to declare war on Sienna. 
Brands are not war. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Upgrade our ships. 9,000, 900. I bet these are the transports. No, they're not. Oh, it's the big ships. Okay. And state of the art war galleons. Oh my god, we are so filthy rich. I think at this stage we probably should make some uh, refineries as well, shouldn't we? The income's just so high now that it would be stupid not to, wouldn't it? Make a six fort there. See what we get the most income from, the most bang for our buck. So, okay, wow, the cost for weapons manufacturers is so high. Yeah, we'll get those. Uh, we'll get some naval manufactories. Yeah, those ones are going to benefit a lot. Trade companies. Plantations. Ooh, there's a nice one there too. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Canary Islands as well, haven't I? And textiles. Oh, they don't seem to be worth as much. There we go, we're done. We've blown all our budget. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. Drop us some comments below. There's a few things I'm not actually too sure about. Maybe you guys can help me out. So, when it comes down to force, what do you guys do? Do you, do you like to mothball them? So you get the money, or do you prefer the army tradition by having them up? And as well, when it comes down to manufacturers, do, do you guys ever buy buying them? Ever buy them? Drop us a comment below. Guys, I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.